nine years old, I lived in Titusville, Pennsylvania, with my two sisters and my brother, until my mother decided to give us a baby brother. Now, I knew what baby brothers were like. Across the street, my two friends, Barbara and Carol, had a little brother named Gucci, and he was about the spoiledest, most rotten kid I ever knew. <laughs> And next door, my <laughs> friends Gordon and Mary Dayton had a little brother, Mikey, who was almost as bad. And to make things even worse, Helpita Daphonitis, the 16-year-old immigrant <laughs> next door, told me, once parents have a boy, they no longer want their girls. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought since she revealed this life shaking bit of news to me, she'd at least be sympathetic, but she wasn't. Instead, she said, she would come over and she would make as big a fuss over my baby brother as everybody else. <laughs> and so every day when I went to teach her a little bit of English, she would say, how's baby brother? <laughs> and finally I had it and I said, I wish we didn't have him. All he does is cry all the time. And she said, baby brother cry because your mother leave diapers online and night spirits get into them. <laughs> and I said, night spirits? What are those? And she said, oh, they are very bad. They make babies cry. They make big people sick. And I said, are they like ghosts? And she said, yes. Well, I could hardly wait. And as soon as I was through with my English lesson with her, I ran across the street to where my four friends were. And I said, guess what? Daphnitis is believe in ghosts. And Carol, who was 10, said, oh, they're only teasing. And I said, no, they really do. And I told him what happened. And I said, I bet you we could even pretend we were night spirits and scare them. Well, it was the middle of a long, hot summer, and there wasn't much else to do, and Gordon said, oh, wow. <laughs> and so we formulated a plan. And that night, when it started to get dark, I went out and gave them a little sign, and they came running, and we went to our garage behind our house, and there we practiced. And when we got to sound really we crept out behind the lilac bush, and we looked. And then we went over to the bushes beneath Daphnitis' window. And when I gave the signal, Gordon laughed his evil laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and I moaned, oh. <laughs> and Barbara said, boo. <laughs> and Mary shrieked, ah. <laughs> and Carol gave her witch laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and Helpita screamed in terror. <laughs> and I said, come on. And we ran to our back porch that had a wall about this high. And we ducked down beneath it. And I said, see, I told you they were afraid of ghosts. And then we started to laugh. It wasn't th that we were being, it's just that it was a pretty heady experience for a bunch of eight to 10 year olds a teenager. And so we were putting our hands over our mouths so my mother wouldn't hear. And I said, let's do it again. <laughs> and they said, yeah. And so we went behind the lilac bush and over under the bushes in the window. And if we were good the first time, we were fantastic the second. And not only did Helpita scream, but so did her mother. <laughs> and at that time, the front and the back doors burst open, and out came Chris and Steve and Helpita's older brothers, and they had baseball bats. And I said, run! <laughs> They've got clubs! <laughs> and so we ran behind our house and up to Osborne's house on the other side, and went in the, we stopped in the middle of their yard, and they said, what should we do? And I said, Chris and Steve can come frontwards and backwards, and they'll corner us. 
So we ran across the street between Dayton's and Fish's house, up to the neighbor's garage up behind. And there we stopped and we looked. And Barbara said, do you really think they'll come after us? And I said, they might be this bloody. <laughs> and so we watched and we watched. And a few minutes later, we heard Mr. Dayton call, Gordon, Mary. And then Mr. Fitch called, Barbara, Carol. They said, see you tomorrow. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to stay in the garage all by myself after I saw they made it home. So I went out and I petted the neighbor's dog, looking for Helpita's older brothers, until my mother called me. And then we, I went running into the house, and there was everybody waiting for me. And all the kids said, it's her fault. She put us up to it. <laughs> <laughs> and my mother said, young lady, what do you have to say for yourself? And I said, I'm sorry. And my mother said, not as sorry as you're going to be. <laughs> and Mr. Daphnitis said, oh, don't spank. I only want it never happen again. My family been through so much in the war when the Germans come, they scare easy. And I said, brownies come daughter, I will never be in that nice spirit again. <laughs> and the other kids said they wouldn't either. And then Mr. Dayton said, Tom, I apologize. But when I'm through with my kids, they'll never think of anything like this again. And they all said, we'll never be nice peers again. And Mr. Fitch said the same thing. And Tom said, oh, no, don't spank. But not one parent listened. <laughs> <laughs> and so for the next day or so, the five of us were going around looking for soft places to sit. <laughs> but we kept our word. We were never night nice spirits again. Please take one.